In the story, we will encounter a formidable devil without a physical form, whose big head is only visible in the sky. And with the help of that, he kills people one by one in a kingdom. Due to which the atmosphere of fear in those people was made, the film starts in a kingdom where a ritual magic was being done in front of the queen, which was like a dance. A magician and her companions were doing this magic, so the peace could be maintained in the kingdom, because often such magic is done to keep peace in the kingdom. As soon as the magic was completed, the magician brings a very big dragon into the sky and tells that this dragon has come from heaven, which will protect our whole kingdom. Seeing him, everyone was surprised and happy, thinking that now we will be carefree. There will be no danger to the kingdom. But then a storm began to rise in the sky. Black clouds spread all around, and suddenly that dragon also disappeared from there with which everyone sees a very big and dangerous devil's face in the sky, with which everyone gets very scared. They had no idea that. Where did this big problem come from suddenly? But the soldiers gathered together showing great courage. They simultaneously shoot the devil with all of their arrows. But this was a very small attack for him, due to which nothing happened to the devil. He swallows all the arrows at once with his big mouth, but he got very angry with this and now he also attacks in retaliation. His tongue, which had many legs like an octopus, with their assistance, he launches an attack on all the soldiers. But the commander got up in the air with courage. They cut the devil's tongue with their sword, with which the devil got irritated. He threatened the queen that, now your and your kingdom's end is near. No one can save it from being finished. After saying this, he left from here. After this, the next day, a detective in the kingdom, who was also a very good warrior, is also called. His name was Di Rengie, so that he can find out what purpose that devil had come for. Here, all the soldiers and their head, whose name was Wuzi, tells Di Rengie about the incident that happened last night. Hearing that, he left with Wuzi to go to that hall, where people saw that devil last night. But on the way, a strange man passes behind them at a fast pace, whose strength was also that. He can change himself into smoke. He then comes in front of them and tries to attack Di Rengie. He wanted to injure him with his sharp hands, but Di Rengie saved his life by stepping back at the right time. Seeing this, Wuzi got angry. She starts fighting with him after stepping back Di Rengie. Because her fighting skills were very amazing, she faces him with a lot of bravery. She was hitting him by flying in the air. Seeing his companion losing, the other companion of that man came there who ties Di Renge with a rope, but he turned around very cleverly and got free from the rope. Along with Wuzi, then he started fighting with them. Those two men could not see in front of them, so they immediately disappeared from there. After this, the kingdom's commander comes there and tells that I had sent these two men, because I have kept them to protect me and the queen. Di Renge tells the commander that I want to meet the queen, but he said this and clearly refused that, I am sorry, she does not want to meet anyone. He was surprised to hear this and he felt very strange, but still, he avoids this matter. Now Di Rengie came to the hall, where the devil was seen last night, and he, he keeps a magical device here and tries to find out what happened here last night, with which he sees everything and understands everything. He asked the magician that, was that devil real, according to you? Or did someone do magic and show illusion to scare everyone? To which the magician replies that, as far as I can see, it was real because no one can do such a dangerous magic. Hearing this, Di Renji now goes to a master living in the jungle with the commander Yisho because he was very old, so he must have information about all this. But they did not find the master there. Then suddenly a man attacks the commander's companions, who had made his appearance like a joker. As soon as he attacked again, both started fighting with their swords. But the joker was much stronger than them, so he was easily roaming around and beating them. But seeing all the actions of the joker, Di Rengie finds out that he is not a real person. In fact, he is a puppet, that is, a fake person made by magic, which someone is controlling with an invisible thread. And that's why the Joker is fighting. As soon as he knows this, the commander throws his sword at Joker and hits him, with which the thread was cut. The Joker falls there and becomes a pile. He was completely destroyed. Now the commander goes to find the person who was controlling the Joker's puppet. She was not a big person, but a little girl. She used to live with the master. She tells him that you cannot meet the master because he does not want to meet anyone. Hearing this, the commander got angry. And now he started going to the place where the master used to live. But then the dragon comes in front of him and attacks him. 
He was attacking him again and again and making him fall because he wanted to stop the commander. Then the dragon tells Di Rengie that this is decided. It has been written that now the end of the kingdom is near. It will be destroyed, which you cannot stop. Saying this, he takes him to the master in a strike. Here the master also repeats the same thing, that yes, this is true. The destruction of the kingdom is near. Now, the dark clouds began to spread here again. And the next moment, the devil comes again in the sky. The two companions of the commander try to attack him, but he kills both of them with his poison. Seeing this, the master now sends the dragon to fight him. But the dragon was nothing in front of his powers. The devil traps the dragon in his mouth and eats it. Seeing this, the master was stunned. Before he could attack him, the devil himself attacked him, due to which the master started burning. He changes into ashes and disappear from there, after which the devil also goes back. There Woozy was examining the corpses of those who died in the attack of the devil. As soon as she cut the wounds of the corpses, a strange skin was found from inside. Seeing this, she was quite surprised. Then Direnjie also came here. Woozy started telling him about all this. But Direnjie also realizes that someone else is here. He throws alcohol all around and says that, Whoever is here should come in front. I will not do anything to you. In fact, I will give a lot of alcohol. As soon as he said this, the coffin lying there begins to move. After opening it, a man came out from inside, whose condition was not good. D. Renji already knew him, because he used to be a doctor here before, but he was quite addicted of alcohol, due to which he was removed from the kingdom. Now D. Renji started asking him, if you know how this strange skin is in these dead people, then tell me immediately, on which he tells that many years ago in a small village, the queen had sent some of her soldiers, because it is said that the devil lives in that village, but all those soldiers died there, whose bodies also had this strange skin. After hearing this, Direngie was quite surprised. After listening to that man, Woozy tells him that my dad had also gone there once, but he has not come back till now. So now Direngie decides to go to that village so that he can get some clue about the devil from there. And now all these people left to go there. They have to travel by boat, but after going a little far, there was fog all around, due to which the boat turns in the wrong direction. But still, they got off the boat, and somehow, they entered in the village through the caves. As soon as they come here, they see the skeletons of all the soldiers, all those who had been killed by the devils. There, Woozy also sees his dad's skeleton. She was broken after seeing this, and was quite sad. They also saw a skeleton of an animal, which was looking very strange, and there was also a picture of that headed devil on the wall, which made everyone very scared. They also saw a very old cloth here, on which some magic, magical spells were written. Then suddenly, the picture of the headed devil disappeared, with which many devils came here and attacked them, and attacked them badly. A flying devil also came here, who was wearing red magical clothes. Direnji started fighting with her. He tears her magical clothes with his sword, due to which she got scared. She changed into smoke and immediately ran away from here. Now as soon as they started leaving from here, suddenly something happened to the commander. He started doing crazy things. He starts breaking all the walls there, due to which the whole cave started breaking. Seeing which, everyone got very scared. Without wasting the time, half of the people come out of the cave and half come out of the riverway. The commander also came to his senses. As soon as he started coming out of there, suddenly a big stone fell on him, due to which, along with the commander, his companions also die. Now the next day, all the people of the kingdom came out on the road. They were also performing rituals, and were also praying for their safety from the devil. They also started asking Direnji for help, so that he saves the kingdom from being destroyed. But because he had not solved this matter yet, so he does not say anything, they started checking the corpses of those people, on whom the devils of the cave had attacked, even after cutting their skin. The same strange skin came out from inside. As soon as Woozy put them in the water, they disappeared. As soon as she saw it, she lost her senses. But when Direnji saw in the water, then he found out that the skin did not disappear in the water. In fact, it went into the water and made itself invisible. It means that its existence was in the water, but it was not visible. It had become an invisible skin. As soon as he saw it, he was also shocked. Now to solve this matter, as soon as he came out, suddenly a dangerous creature, which looked like a lizard, attacks Direngie. He was also attacking the creature but he was trying to make himself invisible again and again, and was trying to attack Direnjie. But the creature was weaker than him, so he ran away from there in fear. He hides in a house. As soon as Direnjie went to that house, there was the soul of the commander, who was telling him, 
that you stay away from this matter, because the end of the kingdom has been written in destiny, which you cannot change. As soon as he told this, the soul of the commander also felt something. He disappears from there like ashes. C. D. Rengier was very worried, thinking that what is the last matter? And how do I save this kingdom? There is a meeting of the ministers and officers of the kingdom, in which they all will make this plan. That went to fight the devil, and this thing was troubling Direnji a lot, that the devil should not take advantage of this meeting. What if he attacks everyone by seeing the crowd? Along with this, he gave his shadow in the water, and started remembering everything again. He puts pressure on his mind, that what if the evidence is in front of me, and I am not able to see it? After seeing this, I made it unnoticed. Along with his thinking, he saw everything. He came to know the whole truth, because of which he was filled with happiness. Now, the next day is shown to us. Everyone was sitting for the meeting, but before the meeting started, the color of the sky began to turn strange, and then a very big and round way is made. Seeing this, everyone's condition is bad. At the next moment, the headed devil comes there and attacks everyone. People started running to save their lives, because of which there was chaos. But before this, he kills everyone, Derengie somehow, by raising his hand. He makes the devil's head very low. Now because of this, dangerous devil was coming so close, everyone got scared. Woozy and her soldiers started throwing white powder everywhere. Because of which that creature, like a lizard, which was invisible and was attacking everyone, started to be seen and comes in front of everyone. Because of this, people catch him from all sides and make him a prisoner. Following this, Derengie arrives on the scene, keeps the truth in front. He tells that he was not a devil. Everyone was just being confused just to be troubled. They were put in trouble because this devil is like a shadow seen in the water and nothing else. I knew that whoever is behind this, he will definitely take advantage of today's meeting. That's why I searched all the nearby places. I came to know about a secret place. When I went there, I saw this devil's mask there, which was connected to a system machine. And through that system machine, that devil's head was seen so big, so that terror spreads among people. And when that devil comes in front of everyone, then a lizard-like creature becomes invisible and attacks everyone, because of which everyone thought that the devil has killed everyone, because this creature was not visible. The strange thing found among the dead people meant that in future, they will also change into a creature to make all these things successful. A magic was used. That magic which our great magician also does. That means all these moves were done by the magician and the child we saw who used to live with the master. That too is the form of a magician. After knowing this, everyone loses their senses. Now Derenji tells the magician that I have felt your magic for a long time. That's why you always used to live with me, isn't it? So that I don't have any doubt and you can make me believe that you have no hand in this, but of the devil. But I got to know about all this when I saw the ropes placed behind the master and the commander, which you were controlling by making puppets. They were always run like puppets, once I saw your real form, your face was very bad. There were marks on your hands, which are often on the hands of puppeteers, because of which my doubt changed into belief that yes, you have done all this. No doubt you are very expert in all this. This was your planning. But see what was the benefit finally, I caught you. After seeing the real face of the Magician, everyone was very shocked, and because her truth had come in front of everyone, so she comes in the form of a girl and tells Derenji, Wow, Ranji, I have accepted you. After all, you have brought my truth in front of everyone. Then listen further. I did all this in the fire of revenge because the queen had ruined my entire village, for which I wanted to take revenge by ending the kingdom. Saying this, she brings her puppets there again and tries to attack everyone. But Derenji and all the soldiers together bravely face the puppets after killing them very easily. The magician is also surrounded from all sides. She had accepted this defeat, but she did not want to die at their hands, so she takes her own life after everything became normal. When D. Rengier and the queen were standing, then suddenly a soldier came running. He begins to tell that in the mountains behind them, a very big sized tortoise has been seen. After hearing this, D. Renji now went to solve this matter too, which may be someone else's master plan, but D. Rengier was very expert. If there is any such danger, he will solve it easily. Because of him, the kingdom was saved from being destroyed. As soon as he found out about the enemy's move, he revealed the truth. Because the magician's intention was wrong, she thought wrong about the queen, and thought of taking revenge. No one can deny this, 
that the fire of revenge is very bad. And she was wrong. That's why in the end she was destroyed, the queen was innocent, so neither she nor the kingdom was harmed. With this, the story ends here.